humans, and also countrymen. And welcome to Terraria. Let's start us off right here. Real, real fast. Um, now, uh, this is a kind of Minecraft <coughs> style game. Um, it's uh, pretty, pretty simple um, Minecraft kind of style game. Uh, where you essentially just you do what you do. Uh, it's it's hard it's hard to explain, but it's basically like Minecraft, but 2D. Um, most people will know what it is. I'm trying to decide what kind of hair I want here because that's the most important feature of the game. I'm gonna go with that in that color, and I'm gonna actually stick with all of that. Actually, Rick Astley. All right, because he looks like Rick Astley. Um, now we gotta create a world. Let's do medium and call it. Let's call it. Troll. We're just being all sorts of silly today. Um, placing rocks in the dirt, making random holes. See, so yeah, it's it's a very uh, fun game. It can get quite intense, um, and it really, I feel like it takes uh, takes a lot of a lot of elements from Minecraft, but it also takes a lot of more hardcore RPG elements. Um, along with it, and it's very, very, very neat. Now let's jump into our world. Um, of course, it's taking a little while to load. Uh, because this is a new world, but here we are. So this guy, Dustin, is just a guy. Um, he's kind of the tutorial guy. So we can move around. We can jump around, as you can see. Uh, we got a sword that we can chop at things with. We got a pickaxe here. Um, of which we can mess around, uh, dig out some stuff. Weirdly, we can dig behind us. Not really sure why. So it has the same sort of elements with placing blocks and digging blocks uh, in Minecraft, but that's kind of where the similarities pretty much end. I mean, it's got a similar-ish premise as Minecraft, but it really takes a different, uh, different stylistic, well, stylistic choice, and also just a different, different path. It's, it's. Uh, there's a lot more with combat, a lot more about group play. Um, it's it's very very RPG-ish, um, exploring caves and the like. It's like a randomly generated RPG. I I feel like now, of course, you start like Minecraft uh, by building a home. Now I'm gonna wanna I'm gonna take fall damage from that. Quite a bit of it actually. Um, and those do not look friendly at all. We have not spawned in the best of places here. But I'm going to attempt to make my way up here so I can start a home. Um, now this is something we undoubtedly will do uh, in the future with some multiplayer. Um, Cows has set up a server or had set up a server a while ago, so undoubtedly we will be doing some Terraria multiplayer uh, at some point in the future, so you can look forward to that. It should be quite fun. Just making our way back up here. Not the best start to an episode, but 
you know. You know how it goes. How come I can't mine that out? Oh, because it's underneath the tree. Well, that's a bit of a conundrum. Can I hack at the tree? I can. Alright. That should help. Oh, we're getting wood, so that's that's good. I think we should build a home rather close to here. Now, my health has regenerated, as it seems, so let's build our house here. Um, can I actually, can I build? Not on top there, sadly, okay. Um, I'm gonna chop down this tree, and then I'm gonna start the wall of my house there. Now, I'm gonna build this guy here. So for right now, our house is going to be just a dirt house. Um, pretty simple. This tree is also going to come down. And once we've got a house and set up some of the basics, um, then we can start. Then we can start uh, just constructing, constructing some tools, and then we can go adventuring. So one of the interesting things here is you hit escape and then you get this menu and this gives you crafting options. So like I can craft wood into different things. I can craft dirt. Uh, actually right now all I have is uh, wood and wood platforms. So I actually want to make some wood platforms. I'm going to do 10 wood platforms. So Let's also make a workbench. Now, this works basically like Minecraft uh, with workbenches and crafting, but crafting is interesting because this is all uh, automated. There's no... There's no... Uh, no... I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. No... Um, N none of the like having to know crafting recipes and the like uh, it's all all automated uh, with what you can craft so I'm going to put a door in here and I'm also going to put a door in here there we are so I can now open and close these doors. Um, now let me go to my crafting table and see what else I can craft. Wooden arrows. Okay. And a bow. Neat. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go adventuring now that I have a little home set up. Um, I'm going to get my uh, pick out, and I kind of want to create a stairway down this direction where we can uh, where we can climb back up. So uh, so I can get back. No. Question is, can I climb these vines? No. Okay. Now let's use some of the dirt we've got here to build a bit of a, a small staircase down this way, so we can um, so we can start to uh, collect whatever is in these pots. Silver coins. I also placed some wood, which is not really what I wanted to do. Um, I probably want to be using my sword right now. Copper coin, not bad. We've got some water. Let's see what's up this way. Wooden arrows, not bad. Um, so, now what is 
this here. See, I'm pretty new to this game, so a lot of like the ores and things, I'm pretty new at. But we got, it looks like, so we got some copper ore. Nice. Now what is this? Clay, alright. So yeah, I'm still kind of learning what the blocks look like. But it looks like we can build with most of these. Can we get this mushroom? Yes, we can. Now, now we got a slime actually coming toward us. So we're gonna fight this guy off. Attempt not to get killed. Sweetness. Alright. Now let's see. I, I see something in here. Um, which I kind of want to check out. Uh, now water works. Oh, it's just stone. All right. Well, it's getting nighttime, so I probably want to go back to my house. Um, now, oh, what was I saying? Shoot. This is not a good situation. Okay. Uh, water works interestingly in this game. Um, in that it actually does fill areas. Um in a way you wouldn't, like, you wouldn't think, like, Minecraft, like, here, I'll show, I'll show you. Now, the water, see, it thins out and actually spilled out there as opposed to just, um, as opposed to just kind of flowing out in a weird, infinite kind of pattern. Like in Minecraft, uh, the water actually does does have kind of more appropriate water, not physics, but kind of physics. Um, kind of hard to explain, but the water does behave more like normal water, which is interesting. Because um, in a lot of games, it's hard to get water water attributes kind of correct. Um, now. I want to kind of make my way back home here without getting attacked by the slime too quickly. So let's open the door, close it before the slime gets in, and let's do some crafting. Because I'm very interested in the crafting right now, because I want to see what I can make. Now I want to make some wood walls actually make 32. Let's do 32 wood walls. So now, if I go here, oh, I'm uh, not on my wood walls. Here we are. We can place in some wood walls. I may actually replace my uh, current cruddy looking walls with uh, some wood. Now, an interesting thing that I actually really like, um, which I don't mind this in Minecraft, but this is something that I do really like about Terraria, is the crafting is all... Oh, shoot. Oh, no, and there... This is... Things are happening. Um, the crafting is all in-game. It's not... Uh, it's not... Uh, you know, you have to go up to the crafting table, and then you can't, uh, can't, uh, do anything else while you're in the crafting table. It's, this is all in-game, which I, or, all within the, the level while you're playing, which is nice. Um, also, there are just butt-tons of slimes just having a whole jamboree about our house here. Um. I seem to be able to hold them off pretty well. Um, taking a little bit of damage. But I am holding them off kind of decently. Um, let's go adventuring over this way and see how our little tutorial man is faring. Now that, that is neat looking right here. It's also 
That was a really scary noise. It's also uh, rather scary, and I kind of don't want to go in there, but you know what? For the sake of adventure, let's do it. Is that a zombie? Might have been a zombie block. It sounds like one. Now, I get the feeling these guys are going to attack me, and that I'm totally unprepared for such a such an occurrence. Yeah, it looks like that's a zombie. Now, I think I'm totally unprepared for this, but uh, I think we're also going to find out. Um, so apparently I can't attack these guys. So I don't really know what's happening. Let's see. Uh, what happens when I dig out the zombies are worrying me? Can I not dig out the ground underneath them? Apparently not. Hello, guys. So, uh, I haven't recorded in a while, so I messed up my intro. <coughs> Hello, friends, Romans, and also... Sorry about that. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Well, anyway, after that audio mess up, that's probably a good break to um, end the episode. Uh, but this is a quick little brief, brief, brief intro into the world of Terraria. We'll definitely be playing more of this. Um, and I just wanted to kind of see what it was all about because I haven't really played much of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this really, really brief episode, and we will definitely be coming back to you very soon. Bye-bye, guys.